Welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 25th of November for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol in the top right hand corner. This week begins so dramatically. Not only does Venus prepare to make its way into the sign of Capricorn, which occurs on Tuesday, we also still have Mars in opposition to Uranus. This combination creates a, an awful lot of electricity. Mars is impulsive, it's impatient, and in the sign of Scorpio, it's about desire. Uranus on the other side of the heavens in the sign of Taurus is about bringing innovation to our approach to self-worth and also money. So when it comes to resources, we could find ourselves feeling more impulsive. Then again, it could be around a romantic situation where there's an electric intensity that pushes us perhaps to do something in the moment rather than necessarily thinking about it. Venus moving into Capricorn is though a very stabilizing transit. By the end of this week, it's inching closer towards Ceres, the asteroid that's to do with nurture. And in the sign of Capricorn, this combination can be a stabilizing antidote to the electricity that Mars and Uranus are creating. And also Venus itself starts to link brilliantly with Uranus. So this can be a time when we can be a little bit more uh, creative in our approach to situations, but also it points towards being open-minded about the type of person or people we can find interesting to be with. Of course, Venus and Mars are then forging a lovely sextile from the middle of this week through to the end of the week, which can be so enhancing for all relationships. But there is a new moon which occurs on Tuesday too in the sign of Sagittarius. And that's asking us all to be open-minded, free-spirited, to embrace the more individualistic side of our nature and also just perhaps think about the way in which we can add greater variety to our existence. However, by the end of the week, Saturn and Pluto are getting closer together. It's a four degree gap. Usually I take into account three degrees, but that's just reminding us of the awesome power of this combination, which are watching over all of the events beneath them, if you like, in terms of the more interactive personal, uh, personal planets. But I do feel that this week can be a week of excitement, a week of drama, and it can be on the relationship front. It could be about our approach to resources or business or the type of people that we spend time with. But the one thing it's not going to be is dull. Your specific forecast, Capricorn, suggests that with a new moon in the most tender and sheltered part of your scope, that you would want to, in some way, uh, ferret yourself away, hunker down and have some quiet and reflective time. And that is possible. But with Venus arriving in your sign on Tuesday, I do feel that you're going to be much in demand. And there's also still that very, very electrifying link between Mars and Uranus, which is probably giving you lots of different thoughts or options. If one of your strands of thinking is about being more of a free spirit or liberating yourself from a situation that isn't working very well, it wouldn't be a surprise. And perhaps that does feed in more to that psychological well-being that the new moon speaks of. But with Venus linking brilliantly to Uranus and also to Mars this week, if you are feeling in a stronger place and more outgoing, the options to connect, interact and perhaps even mix and mingle and flirt are absolutely awesome. And by the end of this week, don't be surprised if more than one person, if you're single, is showing an interest in you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to go beyond your zodiac sign and discover what 2020 will hold for you based on your personal birth data of time, date and place of birth, please see the link beneath this video. You can get the rest of this year free and 30% off. But for now, good luck and goodbye.